what's happening everybody welcome amp capo here black adonis games we are inside of the mutable sample project for unreal engine 5.5 and what i'm going to be showing you today is how to clip objects or hide objects that you don't want visible in other words like how you see the pants tuck into the shoes and things like that that's what i want to go over today i'm going to not be doing the full deep dive due to the fact that there are so many bugs and uh errors and issues still with the immutable and unreal engine 5.5 at the moment so i don't want to do something too heavy and too long it's going to be a super deep dive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first start off by doing some tutorials these tutorials are going to be assuming that you've already done the eight tutorials that are available here on epic games these are not very difficult if you are brand new to this i suggest you do these first if you would like me to actually do these tutorials and walk you through them i would be glad to do that as well also there is documentation now available on github there wasn't at the time it came out the documentation was down for a while so i don't know if they were just revamping it but here you can also go to these user references and find out so much about mutable i will be doing tutorials assuming that you've already done these uh tutorials so that's how we're going in i want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel and stopping by and sharing the content i appreciate you now, the first thing that I'm going to do is open my customizable object here. And I also have a customizable object instance. And I did open them both already here. Now, the reason I wanted to use this particular character, this is my character that I'm creating, is because I still have everything bonded together and I'm slowly tearing everything down into their own separate categories to become their own customizable objects that will just refer to this parent object or bond to this parent object through their base objects. All right, so let's go ahead. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down to where I keep my shoes at. All right, so this is my shoe section. And you're gonna see here that I have some modifiers connected. These modifiers are what I'm gonna go over today. I will actually go over all four of these. I will not be going over these as these are ones that I'm experimenting with. So when I figure out exactly how to use these, then I will also be showing you these. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first one I'm going to go over is going to be this modifier here. And this is coming off of these cyber boots, which if you've seen my videos, you can see that these are cutting off the pants legs. So I want to explain how this works. And I wanted to start with this remove mesh blocks first. And the way you get any of these, of course, is to drag off. And then you have all of your modifiers here, all the different types. And the majority of them are here. So what I have is remove mesh blocks. I want to show you what happens when I take this node off and rebuild. So what I'm going to do is just break the node links and then I'm going to compile this. Now, what ends up happening is the toes of the character are going to pop through and I'm going to go ahead and zoom closer so you can see them. All right. And so you can see that the character's toes are sticking out of the boots. And so this is what I wanted to remove. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how you get all of this done. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag off of here and type blocks and you want to create a remove mesh blocks node, All right? What this node does is it will block mesh and you set up actually the parameters of the mesh through the material. All right. So you're actually blocking the material and you're blocking parameters within the material. So first you have to provide it with a tag. Now you have the ability to produce multiple tags or use multiple tags like all required before this will trigger. But in this instance, you wanna use only one tag. And since these are toes and they're connected to the characters material, what we're gonna do is go here and you're just gonna, the very first one, but I'm gonna tell you this, this is where you add the tags and every single item that is in your blueprint or attached to your character will show up here. Now, obviously we want the character's mesh, which is this M body synthesized. That is the one that is required for metahumans. So once you do this and you add this material, you're gonna see the unwrapped material down here in this block section. Now I'm going to suggest that when you work in this section is very difficult, there's no scrolling, that you actually pull this all the way over. And they start you off at eight by eight. Um, I'm gonna actually, 
start off at the four by four and create the block. And here you add and remove blocks. So I'm going to add a block, increase this grid size now to 16 by 16. Now you're going to see that things get smaller. You're going to have to zoom more. And I'm going to actually drag this to even be bigger. All right. Cause I want this to cover a few blocks so that when I take it up to the size that I really need for fine detail, I need this to actually be at 128 by 128. So now you can see how this starts to get difficult to work with. So you're going to have to drag this out, make it a size that you can actually move it around. You double click on it to move around. If you just click it once, it's going to do a drag. The next thing we want to do is just resize this to the part that we want to remove, which we want to remove the toes. So what I want to do is make this about that big for now. And we're just going to drag it over this toe and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And it doesn't matter if you get a couple toes. It doesn't matter because you just want to make sure you only have the toes and you don't want to have anything else but the toes. So that is why I went up to this size, because you're going to need to be uh, fine tuning in the grid here. So once you have that done, we can already compile this once and we'll see what happens. The bottom of the toe is what's miss is what's being taken away. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this. So you can actually copy these pieces with control D and you'll see it turn yellow. Then you just click on one of them and drag it away. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over this other toe and the size of this is correct. And you got to remember you have a top and a bottom. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take both of these and we're going to duplicate them again. And I don't know if you can select two. I don't think you can. I think you can only select one at a time. So Go ahead and duplicate one again, all right? And here we're gonna have to zoom out a little bit and then this will be the other toe, part of the toe we wanna remove. And like I said, you wanna try to keep that to where, and like I, you can see here that it gets pretty difficult to work with this. I'm gonna zoom it once, there we go. So you just don't wanna get other parts of the body that you may not want to remove. So now that we have that one, we can duplicate that one again, move it over here and we should have all of the toes covered. So now when we compile this, no more toes. So that's it in a nutshell right there. That's pretty much how you use that particular node. We get this back over, here we go. All right, so that's how you use the first node, the remove mesh blocks node. I'm gonna just go ahead and hook up my OG right there and delete this one. Now to clip the actual boots, as you see here, you're gonna to have to do something different. So what you're gonna to have to do here is this is called clip mesh with plane and morph. And same place, you just drag off of this and clip and you'll see it here. And with this particular modifier, what you're able to do is you actually get a little grid that is on each leg. So I'll try to zoom in and show you this a little better. Let's move this over a little bit. All right, so you get this grid and each one of these has one for each leg. And so what you're gonna notice is that these grids are in strange positions, uh, but what they're doing is they're tugging and pulling using these morph targets. And what you're able to do is you have to adjust a bunch of settings. Now, this is a chore. If you have exactly the same items as me, then these settings will work for you. They'll work for probably most materials you will be close at least the way that I'm doing it for this height of boot, because this is a like pretty much a whole lower leg, a calf down. These are my settings. You have to play in these settings forever. But the first thing that you need to do is you need to provide the tag once again. So here you need to let the clip mesh with plane and morph know what mesh material that you are trying to clip. So the way you do this is the same way we have here. I'm going to actually remove this very top one just so you could see real quick. So I'll remove this one and I will remove this one. So now when I go ahead and I compile this, you're going to see probably a mess and there you have it. So this is how it would look without it. And you can see pieces of the boot sticking through and it's just not good at all. But after all of my hard work, all I had to do was go in here and find, and this works for multiple pairs of pants because I've added them through this same required tag setup. So here I would go to my bottoms and these are the first pants, pants one, and there's the material, M material pants V3. 
So I just want to select it and you'll see when I compile just one, you're going to already notice that the leg goes up on that side. So now you can see that that side is working. We're just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. We're going to add the material. And what it's doing is just masking the material off. So we're going to go to the same thing, bottoms, pants, material V3, and we're just going to compile this. All right. And that's pretty much it. Now I did want to show you that if I make a change, how this can change. So what I'll do is I'll change this more from 10 to one. All right. And then let's compile this. Now you see how that pants leg went up and it looks completely not correct. So I had to play with this for a while to just get something that was presentable. It took me a while to actually get these numbers and, and fine tune this over, uh, uh, it look, literally took me probably about six or seven hours of just playing around with these numbers over different times because I would break off and do something else. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. This last one here is a complete remove mesh. So what I did was I put these pants on here and this one is just called remove mesh. If you drag off of this and put this in and you compile this, you're gonna see the pants are gone. So this removes the complete mesh, any mesh you attach to one of these nodes and you can use multiple. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that one. These others, feel free to, like I said, mess with them yourself. You figure something out, man, hit me up, drop it in the comments. I will not be upset at you helping me out. Trust me, I love helping you guys out, but shoot, when you help me out, it's just as rewarding. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, wait a minute, I'm supposed to break that link. And then I'm gonna compile this so these pants can come back on. And there you go. So now any pants that I switch to, um, if I pay, switch to pants two, you're gonna see the same thing, they're tucked in because their tag is already added here. If I switch to pants number four, same thing, already tucked in. Now, if I switch these boots to brown boots, boom. So that's all there is to it. I hope this helps you, especially people out there that were trying to figure out the whole uh, clipping thing. There are so many other methods to use and you can use this on shirts, pants, whatever you're building. You don't even have to be building a human character. Whatever you're building, you can use these methods to mask off materials, all right? Anyway, that's all I really got for this one. Let me know if you're using Mutable below. Let me know your experience, what you like, what you dislike. Also, let me know if you would like me to cover those first eight tutorials and just walk you through them. Or if you'd like me to just continue with my basic dive-ins that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to next be discussing the base object node. That's going to be in the next video. I'm just going to start here. And we are going to be talking about the base object node and the power that it has. Anyway, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications, keep sharing the content. I'll be back with another one. See you in the next video. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Thank you.